Good morning, everybody. Frank here from Eastern U.S. Bushcraft and Survival. It's uh, Saturday, September 14th, 9.30 a.m., and I'm on my way into the woods for another overnighter. I'm going to test out my DIY um, bug-out bag or inch bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, I set this bag up over the last week or so, focusing mainly on comfort along with you know ne necessary items but uh, comfort as well because if you're not comfortable it doesn't matter what you have with you it's going to be a bad time so um yeah i'm getting ready to head in and um look for a campsite i may i may or may not stay at the bug out s site that i have the bug out camp that i have because they're calling for um thunderstorms tonight and uh i don't want to be near any tall trees you know anything that's going to get lightning coming at me and i also uh, don't want anything to fall on me so i got to find a safe place to ride out these storms if they come so i'm going to work my way in pretty thick through there that was not the easiest walk for sure uh, somebody been back here with orange spray paint isn't that nice sad trash everywhere All right, so I'm finally through the all the thick stuff into the trail. What's up, everybody? It's uh, right around 10:30, and I'm at the bug out camp. But I'm not going to stay here tonight because. Uh, they're calling for, I mean, it's a pretty good chance we're going to get these lightning storms, thunderstorms tonight after midnight or thereabouts anyway, after 11 actually. And I'm surrounded by these tall trees and this one here is actually kind of leaning my way. So, you know, a strong gust of wind could put it on top of me and I don't want that. And plus lightning. <laughs> They're all very tall trees all around me. And I definitely don't want to get struck by lightning either. <laughs> so I'm going to head in that way, probably a mile and a half, mile and three quarters. There's a younger forest back there. And um, I'm hoping maybe I can find a suitable spot back there. There's some places I've stayed in the past, but I haven't been back there in a while. And I don't know what, uh, what they're looking like as far as these people riding these motorbikes back there and all that. And we'll see. I don't know how because there was a fence back here in a baseball field and the county or whatever took that out, took the fence out too. So I don't know if it's easier to get back there now. I don't know what's going on. So we'll find out together. What's up?
What's up, everybody? It's uh, about quarter after 12. And I still haven't found a campsite yet. I'm in an area that I've never camped in before. This here's an old tree house up there. But it's, I don't know if I trust it enough. I thought about, I'll show you. <laughs> I actually thought about sheltering under this thing because I would imagine it would give me plenty of protection from hail or something like that. But if the uh, wind gets crazy, it could get ripped out of these trees and come down on my head. And that would be not, not be nice because this thing is big. Check it out. <laughs> it's a two by 10 two by 10 framing so this thing is heavy as can be and then it's it's two by 10 decking as well it looks like a five quarter deck now that's two by yeah that's two by 10 or two by 12 even i think that might be two by 12s whatever it is it's heavy but you can see it would be it would be a cool uh cool roof <laughs> but there ain't a whole lot holding it and a strong wind take that tree that way would pop that thing right off of that step. That would not feel good on your head. And same with on this end. That's the only thing holding it on this end is that step. It's not even supported over there. You know, I think I might, I might try to rip this thing down because I could use some of this wood. If I can get a hold of that there and somehow pry it away from that tree without busting myself up <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna see if I can do anything with it yeah I opened my pack up I'm gonna and I grabbed some cordage out of there rather I got my shelter kit right here which is uh, oversized rain fly tarp and um, my small rain fly that I use as a blanket and two trash bags, two 55 gallon trash bags, which I'm gonna use for bedding tonight. And I'm gonna try and figure out a way to make like, <laughs> to make some kind of a bushcraft sofa or something out of it. But yeah, I'm thinking about going into here and using that dead, or that, yeah, that dead tree or down tree there as a back. But I'm looking at this cherry here. It's alive. It's kind of leaning my way, but there's a few trees in the way. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to set up right in here. And use this, like I said, use this down tree as a backing. Something that I can lean against. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place back here. I think it might have been some kind of a road at one time, a long time ago, like back in the 50s or 60s even. Nice find here, dead cedar. Dry too, dry as a bone. That's gonna be excellent for a fire later. Another dead cedar on the ground there. There's actually another dead cedar right there on the ground too. There's a lot of cedars back here. I got food in that bag there too, in that little cooler bag. I have um, I have two steaks and uh, some sausage hash that I took out of the can and I put it in a baggie, a Ziploc baggie. 
and I'm gonna use that or I'm gonna eat that later. And I bought, bought some uh, or brought some ready rice too. Red beans and rice, ready rice. So I can eat that with the steak. Yeah, this is a cool little place back here. These cherry trees are cool too. Sorry about the glare there. Yeah, these cherry trees are cool. Spindly. Very hard wood too. They, they burn for a long time. And they're hard to chop down. There was a dead one by a camp that I was at before that was, uh, I was worried about it falling on me. <laughs> After what I went through to chop it down, there was no chance it was gonna fall on me, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was difficult. looking for a spot where I don't feel like anything's gonna fall on me and kill me if a storm rolls in. Cause we've actually had some pretty intense storms lately. It's pretty dreary looking. It looks like it could start downpouring at any minute. And it's very humid too. It's only about 75, but it's very sticky. down that path it goes about 100 yards 150 yards something like that and then it just fizzles out into thick briars and stuff so I don't think anybody's coming from that direction Poison ivy everywhere. <laughs> this looks like a good spot too. Except for that. It's all poison ivy down there. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna set up shel uh, my shelter and I'll get back to you if you. Or maybe even right here. I think I just found my spot. <laughs> right in here. This actually looks like a pretty, pretty good area. Right, right in here. There's three trees there and then the, the 
the uh, cherry trees and this one right here. And it creates kind of a little hollow in here. The ground's high. So this might not be a bad spot. I don't know, it's between this spot and that spot over there. All right, so it's 12.53. This is gonna be home right here. I've been just walking around like aimlessly trying to find, find the safest place. And uh, I think this is gonna be it. So I'm gonna start working on getting shelter set up here. All right, it's uh, 103. Still haven't set up my shelter yet. I'm still, I don't know, I guess it's gonna be over here. Either that or maybe just right here in this, right in the middle of this old trail. I'm thinking possibly right in here because it'll be a better fire and all that. And easier to move around, it's flat ground out here. Out there is a lot of vines and stuff to trip on. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I brought with me. All right, so I got my poncho just in case because they're calling for thunderstorms, like I said. I have uh, my um, little cooler with the steak and the sausage hash and a couple eggs. And I have bug spray, of course. I have my tarp and cordage and two 55-gallon trash bags. And my little um, rain fly that I use to cover up with flip-flops hatchet saw and this is my this is my new cook set my DIY cook set which I will show you later when I take it out but that's everything that's all I got with me and uh, and my knife just my and that's also DIY too my DIY cheapo sorry my DIY cheapo Camillus survival knife so uh and my shirt's down here and i do have another shirt in there and uh toilet paper and whatnot but this is it for survival stuff and i have um you know selfie sticks and flashlights for filming later on tonight battery packs and, and that kind of stuff and i do i also have ready rice in the in the bag in the cook set bag uh a bag of ready rice and something else animal crackers or something like that I'm working on clearing out my shelter spot now the weather's uh the weather's changing it looks like it's going to rain the wind's picking up and I felt a couple I thought I felt a couple of drops anyway, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right in here. So I'm gonna get this place ready. So it's actually raining a little bit. It's not coming in here much, but I did just get hit in the back with drops. It's super dry right now. I'm hoping I can beat the rain to get this all set up. Because if I do, I should be dry. It took me a lot longer than I wanted it to to get my stuff together. Couldn't figure out where I wanted to set up. Out here with the 
idea for a certain type of shelter and that idea would have worked back at my at my bug out camp but I couldn't find a place around here that would work for it so I'm gonna have to improvise and just do something that fits this area This is that cherry wood. This stuff's been on the ground for Lord knows how long. It's actually kind of punky, but it's still it's still so dense. You can't you can't hardly break it. This stuff burns for a long time. If you get around the punky stuff, that smokes, but once you get around that, the hard stuff burns for a long time. And it burns hot. It's a good uh wintertime fuel. you get the gist of what I'm doing. All right, so I got my two bags of uh, leaves, but I'm gonna move over that way and do my shelter over there because I just can't get it to work the way I want it to here. So I gotta take my selfie stick down and 
move the bags. I'll show you. I'm, I'm just moving back over here where I was originally going to set up because I uh, I want to I want to set this thing up where it's comfortable and where the tarp's going to work in conjunction with the wind, which is going to be coming from this way all night. And over there, I couldn't, there's no way I'd be able to set it up to where it would work with the fire and everything. So I'm gonna do it over here. So I'm gonna set up like right in here somewhere. That's gonna be a backrest for me. I'm gonna use those two trash bags as a, a chair basically, like a overstuffed living room chair. <laughs> and then it, and then tonight when, I, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I'll flatten them out like a futon and lay down on them and go to sleep like a mattress. I'll show you. But yeah, I'm gonna set it all up in here. And I gotta clear all this out. And the raindrops I was feeling earlier stopped. All right, cool, so I got you guys all set up now. You'll be able to see the campsite and all. I'm just clearing it out at the moment. And then uh, I'm gonna start setting up the shelter. I'm gonna be right in there at that log is where I plan on having my back up against. Like probably right in this area. Maybe right here. Gonna add all that to the to the bags of leaves. Got some room in
good. Always use my hands with gloves to push it down first. That way you get any pointy sticks so they don't stab you. as you get up and down on these things. But it's comfortable and it keeps you off the ground for sure. You see where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> This will keep you warm at 20 below zero. This thing will keep you warmer than a thermorest will for sure. I speak from experience. <laughs> when I did my $10 dollar store survival kit challenge, I slept on a leaf bed like this and I was warm all night. Yeah, so I'm thinking having that over there like that. And uh, I'll figure out the fire. Wind's coming from this way. So, I might just put the fire right out here. I'll just have my feet at the fire and just kick back. That'd probably be the best way anyway, because it's going to be kind of warm tonight anyhow. So, I don't want to be too close to it. So, yeah, I think I will have the fire out here. So, I'm going to run a ridge line then from here over probably there's a small small uh, maple tree right there and I'll run it over to that and then tie off like this so I'm have myself kind of an A-frame so I'll probably have it around my height and I don't want to have it too high so I won't be able to stand up straight in it but I'll be able to stand like that because I, I don't want to have it too high so it blows away then again, though, with the, what's the difference of a couple inches? I guess I could have it my height at the at the peak. All right, so I threw the the rain fly thing that I use as a cover over top of the over top of the two uh, trash bags, leaf bags, and it's gonna, it makes a perfect chair. And this is a lot more comfortable to sit on than the flat. It's definitely going to be comfortable. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The bush chair.
So it's uh, 423 and I finally got my shelter together. That's what I came up with right there. And uh, I think it'll keep me dry. I wanna move the seat bed thing over that away a little bit and have my fire like right here, right on the edge there. Or maybe, yeah, actually probably have my fire like right here. I'm gonna have to clear that out too. But um, that should be good because the wind should be coming from behind me from the south, south, southwest. So if I have my fire over here, all my smoke should go that way. I got, I left it open at the bottom so I can get ventilation so I don't get uh, smoke build up in here, hopefully. And um, looks like, oh, looks like a pretty cool, cool spot. So, um, yeah, now I got to start working on firewood. <laughs> but uh, this this thing is amazingly comfortable. This this uh, bush chair, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm gonna set it up. Like I said, I'm gonna put my have my fire over there. So I'm gonna have to get something to put behind this to prop this up, so that I can um, relax while I'm over there cooking and stuff later it's not gonna be too much later it's already like 20 after four like i said but uh the days just going so fast just like every time it took me forever to figure out what i was gonna do with shelter and uh i just couldn't find a place that was working for me but this actually worked out very well Hopefully. I've never put this thing to the test, so I don't know whether or not it's going to be rainproof or not. But we will find out, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I don't know. They're saying, uh, they're still saying it's going to thunderstorm later, starting around 10. Well, there's a chance right now, there's a chance all day, but starting around 10 p.m. is uh, when it's supposed to really be a good chance. I keep feeling something crawling on me, but there's nothing there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's how it is with them little ticks, but it ain't a tick. I got that spray on me, and I, I seriously doubt it's a tick. Well, I can't keep sitting here. I got to get up and get firewood. I have, like, no firewood. There's a lot laying around, but I haven't collected any yet. So I definitely got to start doing that yeah I almost forgot to tell you guys I brought the uh, my DIY coffee cane twig stove thing too it's the one made out of the bigger cane it's gonna be kind of a DIY weekend for me actually sorry about that um, Yeah, it's gonna be more of a DIY kind of weekend, or overnight, I guess. I'm, uh, you know, I did the DIY bed with the trash bags and uh, the DIY chair with the trash bags, obviously. Uh, got the the DIY um, bug out bag going, you know. Just make my own bag up, and it's this is way to me. This is way better to have this big tarp here than to be scrunched underneath of some little tiny poncho. I have my poncho with me if I need it. The poncho actually weighs more than this thing does. <laughs> so it's not like it weighs a lot. It takes up a little more room, but it's it's worth it because I got so much room under here. And, you know, like I say, if you're forced to be out here, the worst thing you, you can be while you're out here is uncomfortable because that's just going to make the you know the whole experience way worse than it is or than it has to be but uh yeah so i got that i got a diy cook cook set with me too which um is pretty cool it's just basically a boy scout set but i added a, a frying pan to it and a spatula some 
put it all in a bag and put some uh, seasonings in there and uh, eating utensils. This is a pretty cool spot. That was like a dirt road at one time, I guess. I'm gonna take a walk down there and show you guys in a minute. There's, it just goes down that way and just turns into thick woods. There's no, it doesn't go anywhere. And back this way where I came from, there's, um, there's no way anybody's getting through there on a vehicle at all. Maybe a rail buggy with a cage that you can bust through trees and stuff. <laughs> but you ain't driving no motorcycle through there, you'd be impaled. And there's too many there's too many big trees on the ground and stuff too. There's just too much. So I'm still getting firewood. I just wanted to show you guys the shelter. I'm gonna walk up on it. I think this is one of my best looking ones yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna we have the fire out there where the rocks are. Firewood over here. Yeah, fire out here where the rocks are. And uh I'm gonna try and make some kind of a fire pit too. Or fire, you know, wall, something to keep the sparks in and reflect the heat back a little bit. Something to hold my grill on. I have my grill and frying pan and pot, cooking pot. I'll show you all the stuff I got. So it's uh, 5.43. And I'm getting ready to take a walk to show you guys that road. Or the road that doesn't exist, actually. <laughs> it, I've always found it, like, confusing to find your way out of this place back here. The trails kind of just piddle out to nothing, and they all kind of look the same. Yeah, as you can see, the... That's where I took all the leaves from. But that's where my shelter is. I came in over that way. There's a path. But it looks like a road in here. You can see how it's all wide. And then it just kind of patters out into nothing over here. It looks like at one time it might have went that way. There's a path that way, but that goes into the marsh. I definitely don't want to go down there. I just cut this cedar in half and took the took the bottom half of it, the big part. I don't I don't think I'll need that. I don't think I'll need the top part yet. <coughs> the outdoors McGee just posted something that just came up on my on my uh, phone. That dude's doing a lot of, he's doing a lot of stuff right now, like in the, the Sierra, Sierra Nevada mountains, it's pretty cool. Or he did hike it, I think. I think he's done now. Oh. Yeah, see this, this path here leads out an awful lot of poison ivy down there but I'm, I'm gonna try to dodge it and go through here I'm gonna try to get whatever wood I can find out here first man there's a lot that's all poison ivy down there well it's not all some of it's raspberry the ones the ones with the jagged edges are raspberry but the ones with the smooth edges 
or poison ivy. That's poison ivy. It's just missing a leaf. And there's a lot more. There's some right there. It's all through here. This path is like thick, overgrown too. But that's a good thing that it's overgrown. When I came down here earlier, there was there was somebody down at the river, and I I went in behind him. I don't think he saw me come in. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I don't think he saw me come in. That's not my water jug. That was there when I came back. And there's another water bottle past it too. too loud because I don't know if that guy's still up there or not and if I walk up there I might give away my I don't you know my position I don't want him to know I'm back here yeah I'm not gonna go up there I'm gonna go this way this is a this is a different area That, that backs up to the area that I'm at right now. I can get to where I'm camping at from, from over that way. If I just continue through here. <coughs> and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get as much wood as I can grab back here and then I'll finish getting the wood over there. Cause I, I can get the wood that's over there anytime, you know what I mean? I don't wanna be walking through all this stuff when it gets dark. to come over here and get wood. All right, well, I'm gonna get this stuff together so that uh, ow, I'm gonna have to put, put you guys away for a little while because it's too hard to do this with one hand.